Hi guys, I hope that you are doing well. I'm just here to do a general reading. We're going to do a 10 card spread here in this reading. So I'm going to use a smaller deck so that hopefully you can see all the cards. If not, I'll just hold them up in the frame for you. If you are returning, welcome back guys. And if you are new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. My channel uh, looks at criminal activity most of the time is what... Uh, uh, we are looking at uh, just anything. Uh, we uproot wicked energy on this channel. The um, tarot is made up of the living language, and uh, so scripture is honored here. I do have a Hebraic descent, and so uh, you will get scripture here. Like I said, um, I am connecting with Jehovah Elohim. People call him the universe. He's got many names about him. He is our Yeshua, our salvation. I do kiss his son that walked among us in the flesh. I love him with everything in me, with all my heart, with all my strength, with all my soul. Um, Jehovah knows everything, and he is the maker of heaven and earth. And I fear him. And, and scripture says, if we don't fear him, we don't have no wisdom in us. And some people don't give a rip. They don't think he exists, and he does. i got way too much evidence to prove to you that he is to be revered. Okay, you don't want to revere him. That's your business. Uh, good luck to you. Um, you got free will. He loved people enough to give free will because he didn't want no robots. But I willingly choose Jehovah and call upon Yeshua. And so I, I, I just uh, am very fierce on my channel to get back and let him say and do whatever he wants. So anyway, if you stay, you'll learn me as we go. If not, thanks for checking me out. Away you will go. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, and all of that. Yehovah Elohim, come on in here and prophesy by way of Yeshua. I love you. I appreciate you for always revealing things that we need to know about. Show me what uh, we need to know in this uh, ten card spread here. You have a rebuke, bind, and block every wicked, dark, foul, demonic, witchcraft, warlock, black magic, talking to the dead spirit. You have a rebuke you straight down to the pit. Thank you, you hold up. Okay. So we have the tower. Mm -hmm. We do have the tower today. It has really come out in a very big way. Um, we have somebody crosswayed. and somebody's eyes are also... Um, they're actually, the, the picture shows absolutely no eyes on this person. Uh, it, the, the, they've got something around their head, but they don't have no eyes at all. And this is the eyeball. And Jehovah's really been bringing that out here today. Okay. We, so, some, something's overturning here um, with knowing something. Somebody's eyes of their understanding is here as well. Um, and you hope it just keeps bringing out about somebody's eyes that got, you know, that somebody's head got knocked off or something like that is here. All right. We have a, a victory. We do have a victory because you have brought it out here as well. I'm going to take some um, clarifiers. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups and the Wheel. We have the Hangman. And the Ten of Cups here. Hopefully I can see all these cards. Let me move them over here because I've got more positions that we're going to take a look at. We have the Queen of Cups. We've seen her today. And uh, we have the Five of Pentacles. Also seen that as well. We have the little Page of uh, Swords here. Along with the Lover's card. We have the Queen of Swords. We have people coming out here in this reading um, we have the Ten of Wands. Um, I actually did a video and ended up deleting it. Uh, it was a very profound reading, but um, they're, they're just over and over, you hope it just keeps confirming some stuff, but I ended up deleting it. That uh, Ten of Wands oppression card was there in some ordeal. We do have the Hermit. We've seen the Hermit a couple times today as well. Um, the Six of Cups. And then we have the Six of Swords, also was in that reading that I deleted, and the Sun was also there. All right, well, this something is going to turn out okay because you'll have stated so. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Little Knight. This is the person that is completely just out of control all the freaking time. Came up in both my readings that I did upload today. And so uh, we have the King of Wands and this person crossing the now. Okay, well... So, something known about being crossweighed or sitting at a stalemate or a decision or something that's just from the heavens, just boom, blown something down, it's storming, it's, you know, uh, some, some type of a building could also be here. 
uh, it's known about as well. This is a disaster, okay? That's uh, the overall energy is, has been some type of a bad blowout and some type of a disaster that's caused something to just be crossweight or some confusion here within a matter. So in a very uh, recent past, some type of public victory and work, the Eight of Pentacles is here as well. Um, we did have um, the emperor show up today, so boss figures were there in the uh, in, in a reading that I did upload. But we did have like three different boss figure energies and cards come out in the reading that I did not upload. So um, what we have in the now is some type of travel, and the wheel specifically came out today in wording in my Hebraic deck, um, in my my word Hebraic deck. Um, the, the will is here, a whirlwind type of energy was there in wording. This is traveling, somebody is traveling now, then they are. We have perception and uh, again, the higher mind and perception still going back to the eye and seeing something. We had eyes that came out. The eye came out in the rune. We see the eye in the tower. Somebody sees something, perceives something. The truth is here, the law is here. We've got soulmates also here. Uh, some type of, uh, you know, um, traveling for some um, get together or something like that is here okay the, the will goes either way in the now so some people got some bad karmic stuff going on within them okay we specifically had a, a preacher come out in one reading and a fake preacher come out in the second reading and yesterday in one of my readings we had a, a evangelist come out so the king of wands can represent somebody like that okay and some people are in the upright and some people are fake around some people okay because not everybody's fake but there is somebody that is okay and Jehovah is dealing uh, with with that energy uh, we have prophecy known about at the top of the mind and again the king of wands is spiritual energy it's fire if you go look up the tower in the Greek it actually can take you back to preachers in evangelism as well it can all right so if you're dealing with somebody who is known in just the public eye then that's here. We got somebody who's got a following here as well. So there's been a war. Somebody's won some type of victory in the now. Something's just turned inevitably with the will, okay, within some ordeal. Somebody's husband is here as well. Uh, again, another spiritual house is here with the will. Um, going back to teachers, and we had school uh, energy that came out as well somebody's flipped upside down trying to figure out how to protect something because something's very much emotional with tin cups up here and stormy waters with the hangman so uh, again we've got this person that's just tireless all the time here I come all the time I've got something to say and the you know the king of wands if if he's you know either way fire or get up and fight okay if, if this person's not in the upright for those who are not this person's just a hothead they're just a whirlwind around some ordeal because there's third parties going on for some people it's the other man for some of you all um if this person's in the upright this is the lower version of the emperor that would get up and fight and, and win it and take a risk and put somebody's pride down we do see an eagle here okay and uh, eagles can see from a high perspective as well uh, but this is a knight and somebody's being humbled and then that's what's crossing this will being turned then great some idiot's going to be humble here it's known about sacrificial things up here it's known about something very much watery again like i said we got stormy waters with the hangman's prophecy card this is psychedelic behaviors this is poisonous things here as well with the hangman this is the shepherd staff and it represents the push and pull the sheep into a direction for protection and Jehovah's is doing that okay and somebody is going to get a fulfillment because we have a very positive outcome with the sun in the very near future we've got the queen of cups here which was in today's reading uh with uh, the little page of cups fishy you know communication and stuff like that somebody's worried or will be worried in the very near future uh or something's going to be healed within that matter since the outcome is something positive somebody is leaving stormy waters behind with the six of swords here as well and so uh, you know depending on who you are and what your character is about uh we got some people worried about being thrown out or some something around money is here or, or some type of manipulation or intelligence around on something emotional because there's, there's there's there is something stormy here around a mother around um a sister or a soulmate energy okay because there there have been some some player type stuff going on here the concern 
is the communication, the little page is a communication card. It could be a child, it could be a teenager, it could be a spy, checking people out and things like that. Uh, it can be the law, okay? It can be a, a secret in, a, in, investigator as well. And a decision is around some type of communication, so there's a there's a concern about communicating and making a decision around that. We, we do have intimate relationships. This also goes back to somebody in your home, um, with the lover's card and so if you are dealing with children or a little lover or communicating about uh an intimate relationship that's in the concern here how are people going to see this uh, as something that's been very oppressive okay and being weighed down the head area is carrying logs and somebody's been really weighed down within some matter okay again we have the head here being knocked off and in one of my readings today we had in wording uh, something about um something dividing the flesh and a wound and then there was a picture of somebody who had a gun to their head as well and so we, do, we get stuff around head area normally the oppression card is focusing on just the back side but somebody's really weighed down here in the head area is here really big and people will see this as somebody's had a mask on around some ordeal we have the law here with the queen of uh swords if she's in the upright she will be a matter of fact that's just that i'm taking your mask off and you're going to go to jail for something if it is that back so we, we got prison that known about this can be a prison card as well it's very emotional uh around somebody's ordeal okay so a face area is here if this person's guilty then they are guilty so if this person's in the negative this is a witch okay and there will be some type of judgment upon it because there's people will see something as a really bad ordeal that went down that's been so stormy and it's known somebody will go to prison for something that they did in the heart space it's known about this challenge that's been here with the hermit the hermit Hermit is a, a physician. It is a doctor, a lawyer, a judge. In the Hebrew, it's a snake in the basket. Somebody's been trying to catch somebody up in a net, store them down in clay, or they did it, and it's known that way because uh, it's for some people. Somebody is guilty. It keeps coming out, like I said, and there's prison known about. Okay, so there will be a judgment. And somebody also in the, their heart wants a judgment on something that's been so nasty and so freaking filthy. Um, there's been pleasures here. This is somebody from your past, the Six of Cups. We've got soulmates here in the now as well. And it's known about some type of soulmate issue or somebody that you know in your past. Your parents, your children are here. Somebody you went to school with is here. Just a blast from the past is here. Uh, and there's just been something filthy around an ordeal. It needs to be healed. So the outcome is the sun. It is leaving troubled waters behind. It's governmental things. There's love and romance. There's children also here. This is a force. This is the most positive card in the deck it's also uh, you know the sun right now is now in cancer and so some still you know could be emotional around something you know leaving stormy waters behind you know we are dealing with people that's hacked into to people's um internet and things like that we've, we've got you know the lover's card go back to this um third house and then this checking people out on the internet has been here something could be right up in your face about that's been very oppressive it has been very oppressive. It will be seen as something oppressive like that. I want to go ahead and just take some words from my homemade deck here. You know, you just pick through my hands and you just give us some words on this ordeal. Somebody is respected and it is truthful. And somebody was saying that today as well. And somebody says, I'm sorry that I hurt you. In the reading um, that I did... Um, not upload we had wording come out your family wants healing with you and there were the devil was also there in that reading we had the snake in the basket there the literal snake card came out we have filthy stuff around some stupidness uh, and family has been involved in some ordeal and family does want to heal with family that has been involved in some nasty ordeal uh, because we got other people you know showing up around some situation so there's uh something precious also came out in one of my readings today as well um it was in a different card and it had something else written on it but we do have something precious here on this card as well coming out and your children are precious to you we've had children sacrificing going on that ain't that don't that ain't okay that's filthy nasty disgusting gross behavior in our earth uh we also have something about an ornament here okay some type of a precious type of an ornament or a present. So if something happened around celebration that's perceived and known about, that's turned everything in the now with your soulmates, then some type of issue is here. Uh, somebody's sorry about some ordeal, and that's, that's positive. 
um, plucking energy is here. Again, th this came out today, and again, we keep getting the eyes that are out here. And it is known somebody's eyes were plucked out in a very filthy, nasty, disgusting, gross, disgustful way. And it's not okay. You're also doing somebody who plucks music and guitar and, and things like that. This house also, for those of you who are dealing with that kind of stuff, and some of this stuff is all intertwined for some of us. Um, this house goes back to uh, poetry and uh, creativity and singing and writing and stuff like that. Actually, in the video that I um, didn't upload, the rune that came out was um, the ansus, which is the word, which is a letter A and or it, it, it looks like an F with the teeth down, uh, but it does represent present poetry and creativity and stuff like that also looting and preying on somebody and, and that's been here okay there's been filthiness here this is trying to catch somebody up in a, in a net so that is still coming out here in, in a roundabout way uh Jehovah says to let go of something right now okay well it's in the now there's something being forced right here right now okay um, my soul follows hard after thee, Jehovah. Thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go down to the lower parts of the earth. Yes, they are again. We got somebody that's been filthy. They've, they've killed. They have hunted people. They need to go to freaking take a pill, okay, and um, get out of the earth. Okay, so um, Jehovah says to let go of something right now. It's going to be forced. It's forced now, and the sun is a force as well. Tender, loving care is here. We also have um, a, a forceful communicator is out here as well. Well, somebody needs to be forceful to a freak. This is a crazy car. It's known in the mind space somebody's crazy, and they're emotionally crazy, and they're just all over the freaking place. They are. Something about a studio apartment complex. If you live in a studio apartment complex or something has happened with you, positive or negative, that's out here. Something around a vehicle is also here. Okay? That's also come out today. Uh, the pandemic is also showing up. We've got physicians out here as well. And in Jehovah's name, we loose ourselves from the spirit of error. Somebody did error. That they went down a wrong path somewhere. It's an ordeal. And it, it, it's just somebody was fake. Somebody wear a mask. Uh, somebody's been oppressive, and somebody's just—they—they they just went wrong. They just did, and it's going to turn out okay. Even though there's been pain and hurting and things that have been plucked away from your life, you hope it's going to wipe away our tears, like he says. Somebody from high school or college is here. Okay, some some type of murmur energy just keeps coming out over and over, and it's murmuring and shaking type of energy. Well, I'm sure somebody's afraid because somebody has been nothing but a freak. Okay, they lost their ever loving mind in what they did to somebody. Somebody is wishing that somebody would just approach them, and they need to. Somebody needs to approach and have a conversation. Uh, somebody has been burned with anger. We're well, just going to be burned with anger. That's this hot head here. That's this. I'm tireless. I, I, I don't care. I'm going to do whatever I want. No, you're not. You're going to meet the great one. He's going to take care of you. Stupid, because you're guilty of something. Every person involved in the ordeal. Uh, we had somebody that was so arrogant that came out yesterday, and this is pride and conceit. And look at me. We don't want to look at you because you're gross in the earth. Okay. There is music involved. It shows it right here. I don't know if you can see it. I think the words flip in this camera. But there is music involved. And somebody needs to be just as forceful with this idiot that's done some stupid and make a fool out of them because they are a freak and a fool. Pull their freaking mask off of them. They ain't nothing. Male or female, we don't care who they are. What else you want to bring out here, you hold on. Take one, a couple of these, and then we will take a rune and call it a read. Uh, ceasing energy, okay? This is the Shabbat. So something could have happened on a Saturday. The Shabbat could also represent um, a celebration type of an energy can be attached to a Shabbat. But this is resting, finally resting, finally having something bright happen here within some ordeal. It's went down a very filthy freaking way. A widow has been here, yeah, and uh, somebody was bound in some type of grief within some ordeal. Wine is here, somebody, you know, dealing with um, balancing issues, and uh, that's also come out 
in, in a really big way as well. We also have thorns and something that has um, penetrated uh, somebody's flesh is here. Okay, we also have, you know, in one of my other readings today, we had something to do with rings and a piercing, and I made reference to a nose ring. That's also coming out on this card. Um, so either a nose ring or just some type of piercing or a hook chain is also written on this card. Um, some type of hook energy. Well, we've got somebody out here that's plucked somebody that's been piercing to the flesh out here and all the rest. We have the letter Resh that came out today as well. I think it was on uh, my first reading. Nonetheless, it was, it was in a... A reading that I brought out today, um, and so this is the head of something, the man, the boss of something, somebody, uh, the chief of maybe the uh, FBI could be here because that did appear today in one of my readings as well. Um, that'd be like the judgment card in the deck, something coming up for an evaluation, the beginning of something, somebody's at the top of something. So the letter R specifically is here. We have the letter Q, the letter T, the letter V, the W, and the Y is out here twice, and the A is here and the J and the L appear in this reading. We also have the S here. Um, the devil is here. So we've got in wording um, thorns and something penetrating the flesh and being sharp and this is a piercing sharp and also grabbing a hold and some type of a shield energy. It's a devil card and he actually was in the past position in that reading that I did not upload. This is pride and conceit. Again, we got somebody who just think they're oh my God, look at me. We don't want to look at you. You're just so nasty at your freakish heart. You're just conceited and you just need to go away and you are going to go away. You're stupid. Okay? Don't like you. You're a murderer. You're a thief, a thieving, thieving, nasty freak. And your eyes will be plucked out. And you're going to see what that feels like to be hung up on a tree because you are a cursed thing. Okay? And somebody gets some type of a real divine grace out of some ordeal because Jehovah is um, revealing something in a very big way out here. Okay? This word that came out here with the resh and the samak and or the sin, in one direction it represents to demolish in pieces and ruin. Somebody is going to be ruined. They already are for what they think they, they're doing. Okay, something's going to be known about their piercing, nasty freakishness. And um, don't care who you are, what level of headship you are or you're not. Uh, somebody's done a nasty thing out here to a person in the earth, and it ain't all right. They've ruined somebody. They've demolished. It's showing it right here. A destruction, a jolt has taken place. The word, um, the other direction, um, so it's something that, we have somebody from high school or college out here in wording. Uh, we have a senior. The S and the R is out here as well. So something happened, went down in your college or uh, high school uh, years when you were a senior and somebody just, my God, did something just demolishing and just they just sought after somebody on and on and on or something just went down. You've just known somebody, it, it, you know, along the way from that time frame. Then, then we do have a senior out here or you're dealing with an older person as a senior or citizen or something like that. But the word senior is rule or ruler or a noble uh energy anyway. We get that alone just with the resh itself. It also means uh, to turn. So something is being turned because the sun is here. That's a force. Something's being turned right here with the will. Okay. Inevitably. There's some, some type of real heavy weight type of energy is, is uh, on somebody as well. We also see somebody, you know, again, got logs on their head. It's an oppression here. Somebody's just freaking oppressed somebody and they're freak. They're just a freak at this point. They've got mental issues and everything else. And we've got also a leadership energy. If you are in the upright, we do have leadership energy out here with this word. They can also go back to somebody who's got a responsibility on them that is so heavy. Okay, as a captain or a chief or some type of a ruler or governor or something like that. Or there's a principal that could be found here with this word. Or a noble woman type of energy. A queen, a princess. Some type of governmental energy is here with this word that's come out. But somebody needs to do something at all uprightness or you know you're going to be just as guilty as the next person i mean understand that you know jehovah puts those those people in places but he also 
plucks out and uproots leadership as well that will not get up and do what he has called people to do in the earth because he's no respecter of person. And somebody's known information just sit there and watch somebody oppress somebody. That ain't okay. That ain't okay. So, so my God, you know, again, somebody suffered in their crown. Normally, the crown is being knocked off. Their head, their eye, their whole area. We got somebody's whole face here. He's been blown off or, or something like that. Somebody's got stuff way down on their head area. Okay? Again, the sun can also represent your eye because you see when it comes out. We've got some type of plucking energy that's come out at several, a couple different times in the last couple days. Today, it's come out twice. We've got this piercing energy here. We got it over here. Uh, it's just craziness. We got thickets and thorns and everything else. And somebody suffered really hard on the crown of her, her or his head. And uh, it, it suffered really bad. Okay, and so, you know, if you're upright leadership, you will give vengeance by way of Jehovah uh, allowing you to get up and take vengeance where it needs to be. Okay, and pull somebody out of some type of leadership or just some person in, in society itself that needs to be out of society because if they're known they're crazy. They're crazy. If you don't do it, you will yourself go crazy because you won't take the responsibility to do the right thing. They're a danger to society itself. We have eternity. Oh, yes, somebody has died. Yes, somebody has died. This is also a radical change. A radical change with the sun. A radical change with the will. Don't care how much of a whirlwind it is. There is a radical change. There's also a new direction. Again, that same type of energy coming out here. This is a maximum protection. And it's known somebody will go to jail for maximum protection. And somebody also has needed maximum protection. Protection is here as well. Again, government protection here. We got leadership here. But thank you. Thank you for those of you who are in the upright and do love to, to put a true law of um, protection around people who need it from these freaks in the earth. Okay? Because we got devilish stuff going on. We've had something around some type of a feasting or something. Yes, somebody also devoured up something. We're dealing with freakish cannibalistic nasties that they need their head cut off for what they do. They do they're, they're crazy. Somebody just crazy at this point, people. They just are. What will you do? Because I know I'm talking to government. And, and the responsibility really does fall on you. 